VOD review while I go ahead and drink me coffee because I haven't done this in a while. Um, this was a really cool game from yesterday. So let's watch. And they got some new stuff in here as far as replay effects go. Like map weapon tracers. I'm kind of curious what that is. This is obviously a glitch. I'm aimed straight down. I'm <laughs> like flying in really weird like it looks. And I have an umbrella. Well, I'd like them to fix this. <laughs> Alright. Fly into whaling and it's pretty hot. As you can see there's seven, eight people counting me. I always, when I'm going to risky, I just land on a weapon. People like to go for the uh, chest, but this is just so much better. Easy kill there. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. And like, what I like to do when I'm in risky, at least, is move along the edges. Like, in I killed someone right there. I don't know why it's not showing it. That's very odd. That was a kill. But I like to move on along the edges, is what I was saying. I don't like to stay in the center for very long, unless I know there's not many people. Oh, that was a deagle headshot. Oh my goodness. He was just kind of chilling. It wasn't that impressive. If you have the time, take it. For sure. So I'm already at three. And I hear this shooting. I pick up that shockwave grenade. I think I like messed my buttons up here or something. Like I, when I set my hand back down on my keyboard. Set it on the wrong keys. That dude is almost dead. Then I kinda like mess with this guy for like way too long. I'm not sure what he's doing down there. And so I'm like obviously he's healing. And then I'm just like ah, I'm just gonna take the top off and peek down. Cause I know he's behind the staircase. And once I do that he comes out. Miss. Wait for the headshot. Block. Pumps are very frustrating because that was like a what looked like a perfect headshot, and it only gave me like 87. All right. Let's speed it up. Let's speed it up a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah, this guy flanks me. And I'm like being rude to him, like, let's go find some other douchebag. And then I get snuck up on. So I kind of and I don't know why, the first time I played this, like, even on stream, like, I went and rewatched the game, and. I couldn't hear her walk up, but I could hear her walk right there. It's very surprising. I expected to not hear the audio here either. It's one thing I do like almost every night is I review a lot of the games I played. So it helps me continue to get Moss better. Where did this guy come from? He's over here like picking up scraps. I don't even think I see him. Wow. It's always interesting to watch the replays and see how close you were to someone. Dang, he must have saw me. He did. He's like following me. Like really slowly. That's funny.
curious where this guy went. I don't remember killing him. Oh no, I did. I think. It was decent. I remember watching that back though, and I could have killed him a little quicker. Like I gave him an opportunity to shoot me, and it was like I didn't trust my shot. Like I flicked, and I flicked right at him, and then I didn't shoot at all. And remember, there's this guy underneath me still. Not pretty. It looked like he was going to drop back in. Um, oh my gosh, I always forget it does that. And I like pumped him one time. That's why he has no shield left. It's always like interesting to see what like the third party's doing off in the distance. You see she's banditing up. There's like a rift right there and it won't let me in. I don't know, this guy was like being pretty astute the whole time, so I didn't want to like just run up on him normally. Very glitch. So we're at six now. I just keep moving too. Like I know that guy's still there. It doesn't matter which one it was. Both of them knew I was just sitting there. She's just like chilling. I kept my assault rifle out there because I saw her reloading. So I didn't really think she was like ready to shoot at all. And I was fairly certain she didn't have much health after fighting. But it's just kind of like the things you have to pay attention to is you got extra bits of information you're getting like sound cues and are they reloading it is not just a sound cue but it's a visual cue too so I'm at 9, I don't know why it says 6 it's frustrating run all the way to the diner They have really good mats. I don't know what this guy was thinking. He just like stood there and caught me. And then this guy comes and steals my uh, my kill. Not very nice. And so I'm like pretty sure this guy's not a default. Because he took a pretty decently quick sniper shot. Oh, there's a guy. I was actually hit on him. Forgot about that. I almost trapped that guy too. Poor guy. That guy was probably really good. But the position he was put in was pretty rough. Gets rifted on and then, dang, there's a guy in front of me and behind me. I remember this. So this guy, I start hearing RPG shots. And so I just keep pushing towards this guy. I just wanted to put enough distance between me and the RPG that I'm not gonna be like overly surprised by it. And so I'm just like pushing through. I build because I hear it coming again. Lock. And then I just finish this guy and turn around and immediately get ready to fight. Of course I go high ground, but RPG. You just gotta. I heard him switch his weapon. That's why I kinda wasn't doing like RPG blocking builds. So now I know he has his RPG back out because I heard the sound cue. Try to look through stairs. I see him through the stairs, so I'm like really ready for it. 
66 to him. Still hasn't hit me yet. Still blocked that. Like when you're blocking RPG shots, I lost health there. I know I did. These just replays are really silly now. Um, regardless, when you're like blocking RPGs, you want to make sure you build a wall and a stair. If you can, if you're able to build that quickly, because sometimes they'll phase through the wall, like you'll build the wall and it'll look like it went straight through it without taking damage, or without exploding. And if you build a staircase, it'll catch it. Like that one, like that staircase got it, is what it looked like at least. My doorbell just rang, but it's a package. You're okay. You're okay, bud. <laughs> Shh. Maybe it's not a package. <laughs> hey. I don't think there's anyone there. Regardless. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um. Let's keep moving. I'm at 12. Pretty sure. Let's see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we got a bit more time left. There's six people left. Of course, I'm playing like ridiculously aggressive this game. Okay, so right here, I heard this dude open whatever he opened or whatever he was doing. And then, so I was pretty sure there was someone at diner, and I saw someone up here too. And so my plan was, I'm just gonna put as much space between me and this guy. When I so when I fight this guy, I expected to fight him up here actually, but I guess he saw the supply drop, so I don't get third party. That's like the biggest thing. The reason I push so aggressively and move so quickly is so I don't get third party this often. Um, everyone moves at the same speed. So if you're running, well, relatively at the same speed, barring like a launch pad or a bouncer or something like that. But y if you're running for the most part, for the like nonstop, you're not gonna really get caught up to until you're in a fight. So if you finish your fights quick, you can prevent like really difficult third-party situations. So I get a. <laughs> right as I go to pick it up, I hear him. And I went for a cheeky snipe and it didn't work. This guy's not bad, like, but I, I bopped him with that really, f that first shotgun shot, and he almost blocked me there. But like, his le the left side of his body was sticking out. That's like things you need to look for. Um, kind of if I was gonna critique him too, he wasn't paying attention very well where I was at. Like, he was more worried about building than, like, knowing my location. And, like, it's always better to know where the other guy is and not have high ground. Dang, this guy's sniping at me. I didn't even see him, I don't think. I see this guy, obviously. And I missed this snipe. And I flicked. I know it didn't really matter because he was a lot. But I'm kind of, like, literally telling myself... It's on my Instagram saying like, you know, right down the center, right down the center. Oh my god, that guy was sneaking up behind him to shotgun him. Wow. That's funny. He was right behind him. I mean, look at him just waiting for me. But I heard him, I heard the sound cue, I heard him switch weapons. And so that's why sound cues are so important. Like in this game... I know a lot of us, including myself, like I'm definitely not in it, or definitely guilty of this, I guess, I'm trying to say. But I always complain about the sound cues. But the sound cues are really important in this game. They get screwed up sometimes. Like the rift one, that's really frustrating right now. And this dude has no idea where I am. 
I launch padded because I didn't like the position we were in. I didn't want to get gatekeeped. I didn't even want to take like a tick of damage. I think I ended up taking two damage points. I got confused where he was at. But I'm like fairly aware of how good this guy is at this point. I built around the tree like that because I thought he was trying to knock me down and I was going to stand in the tree and surprise him. I love doing that. Used his ramp to double ramp. I thought I was going to trap him, but I bounced him. <laughs> I didn't have any traps. I'm getting third partied. This dude is super far away though. Trouble. It's just running. He doesn't really seem like he knows what he's doing, though. That was a pretty smart move of, move of him to go back into his old build like that. Literally one tab. There we go. Alright. So I'm at 15 kills. There's two left. Just looking at their positions. I remember this guy. That's that guy that saw me um, in Risky. Like, very, very early on where I was like, that guy's following me. That was this guy right here. Kai Loxy Lodo. It's interesting. Dude camps, oh man, too bad I didn't look up at that. Oh, if I saw that, I would have taken her head. It would have been so much easier. I messed up my build pretty bad right there. Obviously, it doesn't matter. I know she was looking that way, so I knew there was a guy on this side. I never even really get eyes on him. So the reason I'm shooting at her is her staircase was going this direction, so now, now she has it blocking her. Originally it wasn't, and so I got like two pops on her, or one pop, yeah, she lost 35 health. It's something, like it's just putting the pressure on. And so I used that pressure and her to having to compensate for it, to me being able to take really good position and really secure high ground in the final circle or the next circle I'm like I'm like super paranoid that like this last guy I have no idea where he is he's all the way up there but I was like worried he was gonna cut around this way and shoot me from this ledge so that's why I put all this stuff behind me is to block that ledge right there where my old build to I was just shooting at the bottom just, uh, or shooting at trees Two reasons. One, to get the trees out of the way. And two, because he wasn't doing anything, so I wanted him to move and act. He's trying to do that Reddit peek. Look at him. He's over there doing Reddit, crazy Reddit tricks, and he's like dying in the storm. He doesn't even get out. That was like the most certain 16 kill like win right there. <laughs> it was a good game. It was interesting. I did some good stuff, some bad stuff. But definitely improving. It's interesting to see like that guy, the last guy that I killed was right here. See I'm over there fighting. Oh my gosh. And then he like literally sees me. At some point he, he sees me. Yeah. He sees me. It's funny to think that he's the final person I kill. Probably 20 minutes later. Or 16 minutes later. It's crazy.
and he's just kind of like staring at me. Huh. Well, that was a good game. Thank you guys. Subscribe, follow, everything else. If you liked it, have a good day. Peace.